It's a very common thing to do and uh, kind of fun sometimes. The most commonly used scale in playing lead guitar is the basic blues scale, I like to call it. And uh, some people call it the box scale, some people call it the penta pentatonic scale. I think you should just refer to it as the blues scale because it just sounds like blues when you play it. And uh, these are the notes that are in the scale and you have to kind of memorize the shape of these notes. So I'll play them slowly for you. Back down. Now this is the basic blues scale in A because it started on the A note here. If you remember E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So this is the blues scale in A. So if I were to do the whole same thing here. That would be the blues scale in G. Just a little bit of information that you need to know. Anyway, practice going up and down this scale and just get comfortable with the way the notes sound. And if you notice, some of those repeating licks that I did before were right in that scale. Very important stuff to remember. Basic blues scale, you will be seeing a lot of it. Like I said before, basic soloing is often just connecting a bunch of patterns together. The same thing goes with scales. When you're in this blues scale, like I was talking to you about this one, and you're kind of going in and out of those notes, what you want to do to make yourself sound a little bit smarter, a little bit more advanced, is do kind of like a blues scale part two, I like to call it. It's a little bit more advanced. There's a couple more notes in it. But let me show them to you, because it's no more difficult than the first one. It's the same blues scale I just showed you with a few more notes in between. Check it out, I'll play it really slow. So instead of... It's kind of got notes in between. back down looks like this. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Another scale that you'll need to know is uh, a minor scale. This one will do an A minor because we just did some uh, blue scales in A. And so this A minor scale looks like a variation of those blue scales. It's really simple. It looks similar to what we did before, but just a little bit different. So follow closely. Going back down will look like this. And a way to be able to tell these scales apart from each other is take little sections of them that are characteristic of that scale and work on those. Like the first couple strings of this scale get used to the way that sounds and remember that that's a minor scale. But the terminology is not so important. Just getting your fingers on the strings and listening to it is. All right, you heard me talk about the blues scale and you heard me talk about the minor scale and maybe you're thinking, why isn't he mentioning the major scale? Well, there's a reason for that. I mean, the major scale it just doesn't sound that cool for rock guitar. It's not really inspiring. I mean, when I think of the major scale, I think of like Jingle Bells or Mary Had a Little Lamb or some songs like that. And it's just not the most cool thing to pick up a guitar and play when you're beginning. You want to do stuff that just sounds a little bit more rock to your ear. So I'm going to leave that out. 
But what I am going to do is I'm going to stay in the same key of A like we've been, and I'm going to show you like five patterns, repeating patterns that you can practice slowly, one at a time, and gradually build up a little speed. That doesn't mean you have to be extremely fast on this stuff. Just build up enough speed so things repeat with some sense of rhythm to it. Doesn't have to be fast at all. Just slow and even is all I need you to do. So let's take some of these patterns and I'll explain them as we go along. Check it out. That one used the pull-off technique that we talked about a little while ago. This one also uses the pull-off technique, but I'm going to do it with two different fingers, so check it out. It's all going to be on this high E string. It's going to look like this. The idea of this is to build up the control with your third finger just as strong as with your second finger. So when you get a rhythm going, it's going to sound a little bit like this. OK? And a variation of that would be to move the exact same, the exact same thing to the next string across, the B string. So it would look like this. So together, that would look like this. Very slowly, it would look like this. OK? Another thing that is a real common lead pattern is bending and pulling off. There's two ways to do it. You can pull off to the last note. Or you can pick the last note. Pull off. Pick. This is really important, and it's going to build up some strength in your fingers. So if you repeat it, it's going to be. It's going to be like that. OK? Another one would be something that's going to get all three fingers working together. Something like this. The idea of that is to get your fingers working independently. And it's easy to move this thing around. You can do this pattern on any of the strings in the scale that I showed you. So the way to practice these things is very slowly and get a rhythm going with them. And try as many variations as you possibly can using these scale configurations that I showed you. It's really not that difficult. The whole thing is don't be discouraged. Just play it really slowly and try to keep the unwanted noise out. Just play slowly and as clean as you possibly can. Keep a rhythm going. That's the way to do it. Another picking technique that you might want to try is called alternate picking, which just means you pick up and down, up and down, up and down in that sort of pattern. Some people pick it up really naturally. Some people don't. And it's really not important that you master this and play it all the time. I'm just giving you an option of a different way to pick. And sometimes it sounds pretty neat. But let's do a real simple exercise for alternate picking. Let's go into a, our A scale, our A minor scale, and play these two notes. Notice that my right hand is picking up and down, up and down each time. 
And uh, if you want to make it a little bit trickier, you can add two more notes into it. So. 